Well, you've heard so much noise about the Startup Fair and Summits that Media General organizes. Last year we did it, this year is back with a big bang. And I'm sure you want to find out what exactly is it, what are we talking about. Joining me in studio to discuss this and more, I've got Veronica Fosuhima Uswansa. She's Brands and Communications Manager for Quick Angels Limited. I've also got Richard Ni Amakwe, CEO of Quick Angels Limited. And Sedem Ofori, he's Head of Corporate Affairs here at Media General. Good morning, gentlemen and lady. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So let me start off with you, Sedem, because clearly you are the, you know, organizing team. And so we want to find out what is it about the startup fair this year? Well, uh, it's new, new location, new okay. feel, uh, new exhibitors. And uh, it's even more powerful hmm. in comparison to the previous one which we had last year at the Aviation okay. Social Center. I believe you'll be asking me about where it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is a fair that allows for young businesses, okay. SMEs, startups, people who have spent time poring over how, what gaps there are in the society, uh, problems that they can solve and make a business of. This is a platform, the biggest platform for them to be able to do the exhibition. And leveraging the strength of TV3, uh, 3 FM, Onyo FM, Akuma FM, mm -hmm. uh, Connect FM, and 3news.com, we are deploying our full energy giving it a publicity. Hmm. What did we get from last year that has pushed us to think we should continue in the same stead? Last year's program was tremendous. Hmm. The response, judging from the response from our patrons, the exhibitors, and the general public, it was amazing. Hmm. Uh, it tested our organizational capacity with respect to organizing uh, programs with startup fairs on that large scale. And right. I think that we came out uh, with a very high score. Okay. Excellent, actually. Uh, so uh, we, we, we are coming again this year, and we are doing it better. Very well. We'll come to the timelines very soon, but let's engage Richard and Veronica here. So Quick Angels Limited, when we, what, what exactly are you into? All right, so Quick Angels Limited is an angel investor company. Okay. We are the, it's a formal angel, angel investor company, first of its kind, of its kind in Ghana. Mm. And we are here to provide support to startups and young businesses. Okay, so how long have you been in existence? Because for people listening, they'll want to find out what kind of support are we going to be getting if you are, I mean, with the kind of work you're doing, how do we go about it? So they just want to know a little about you. Where are you located? How long have you been there? So we have been in existence this year. Okay. 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 And we are here to provide the most important funding. Right. Funding. Hmm. Because we understand that um, in our country today, if young men and women graduate from the universities That's with brilliant right. and, 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 and smart business ideas, right. you ask yourself this question, mm. where do they go to? Mm. Because without capital, they are unable to kickstart or Thank start you. their entrepreneurial dreams. Right. In the current economy that we have, mm. where do these people go to? Mm. Absolutely nowhere for them to okay. go to. And that is the kind of space that uh, Quick Angels have come to fill. Right. We want to provide them the opportunity to bring their innovative ideas mm. to rest. Okay. They are young businesses that are struggling to rest, so that we, we assist them with funding mm. and the necessary networking and expertise that they will need to be able to execute these dreams and, and, and push our nation forward. Nice. So for you, Veronica, obviously you are the brand and communications manager, so you would be best to answer this. Where do you think, I mean, he's spoken about how you're going to support with the funding and all that, but why do you think it's so important, particularly when people don't understand that sitting up in our ecosystem at this point in time? Okay, so let me use this opportunity to recommend um, Media General for this initiative. Okay. I think it is great, mm. and we at Quick Angels are not oblivious to the <clears throat> sorry nature of startups and entrepreneurs, the mm. challenge that they go through right. in order to be able to be seen, to be known with their product and services. Mm. As such, we decided, we thought that this is a platform that will bring them all together okay. um, for them to display their product and services, goods, mm. everything. This is also the platform for them to, I mean, let people know who they are. Right. As such, we said, okay, why not we come to you? Because these startups sometimes just need just the funds or mm. the money mm. to be able to get to the next stage. Right. And so we want to interact with them. This is a time for us to meet them, mm. to say, we are new in the system. We are here for you. We are your best angel investors. What we are going to do is, if you have the smart idea, if you have that brilliant entrepreneurial dream that you are executing, but lack that fund, we are here for you. So once we go to Kumar, we interact with them, we see them, 
we let them know what we are offering. Mm -hmm. So if you know those people who lack funds and want to take funds from us, we give them. And we also want to let them know that we are we have a lot of um, people who support with funds, but you have to pay them, um, pay back and all that, which right. gives a lot of stress mm -hmm. to this entrepreneurs and that. Right. With Quick Angels Limited, we don't do that. We don't mm -hmm. take money. We don't take anything from you. All we say is come to us. Let us know that brilliant idea. Let us know that brilliant business that you already have that we would support. And in the long haul or long term, we take equity stake, basically. So we just want to be partners in what you do. We will support you with every fund that we, you need. We don't take any money, any collateral, nothing. Wow. Just have that brilliant idea. Walk to our office at Circle and we will meet you. We specifically wanted to join this particular session because we thought we are moving from Accra to mm. another landscape, let me yes. say, to Kumasi, and it's another target of people. Okay. And we want to target, we are, we are doing nationwide. Okay. Every region will take a turn. And so Kumasi, we are coming. Mm. Quick Angels is a new product, a new company that's coming on board. We are in going to support. But let me, let, let me, you know, throw this in because you've got the opportunity to reassure people why they should come to you. And my question to you is in this particular terrain where now we're not too sure where to go for help, you are talking about funding them fully. I mean, supporting them 100%. And it seems too good to be true, but you've got angels in your name, so I'm sure you can whip up some magic. But how do you go about it, funding yourself to be able to fund them as well? Okay, so I'm sure my boss will come in at, at, at mm. a point. So if you say angel investors, mm. we basically um, invest in your business in the long term, take okay. equity stake. Okay. Now, before an angel investor will invest in your business, mm. we might have know the business, the module, scale up, know your, I mean, the money that you will need in the long term, short term. We are right. patient okay. and we would support. <laughs> now, Quick Angels Limited has a mother company that you can trust. So we operate Quick Credit. Wow. Quick Credit, um, I would say currently in Ghana, we do not have a, an, um, a body that regulates um, a microfinance or savings that only give out loans. Okay. So we've been added to the many that would, I mean, do the give and take. But Quick Credit actually give loans. It's been 10 years in the system. Okay. They only give loans. And as it stands currently, they have 23,000 clients that we have our money's worth. Nice. So you can, so th this is the background that mm. we are coming from. Great. My boss is an entrepreneur with mm. 10 years experience and trust me we are ready a lot of people ask do you have the the, the, the money yeah you'll be doing because a lot of people will be coming in okay. trust me we are you ready. Have I think he'll he'll he will, he will <laughs> Richard, so just there. add your final words to that so, angel investors are individuals okay. or people with ideal fans that are willing and ready to invest in um, startups and unproven businesses okay. to benefit in the long term right. okay when these people come to us um, they will, they will come and meet our experts in the office. Mm. All they've got to do is to bring their business plan, mm. if they have. If you yeah. don't have, no problem. You could still come to our office. Our staffs would help you right. prepare a business plan at no cost at all. Yeah. You only have to um, prove to us that whatever business idea you have yes, or seriously. whatever startup you have mm. is economically viable. Right. And once it is viable, you do the um, financial analysis of it, and if it's okay, it will be recommended to me. Okay. Now, I will have to meet this entrepreneur, mm. and you know, and angel investors will say, I would bet on, on, on the jockey and not the horse. Mm. So this entrepreneur would have to come and prove to me why I need to invest my pocket money mm. into his business. Right. These are the things I'll be looking out for. Mm. That entrepreneur would have to be a confident person. Mm. He has to believe in himself. He should be able to have the leadership qualities that will be required to navigate this business. Mm. He must have the necessary skills to be able to execute this business idea. Okay. Of course, I would have to convince myself mm. that he has the integrity <laughs> right. that would help, help us to be good partners. Right. Okay. One thing you must know that angel investors are very, very key and important to startups mm. because angel investors don't only bring money on board. They bring their expertise and bring their networking on board. Right. Because not until this business that we are investing into succeeds and survives and makes, pro and makes profit, mm. we are not making anything. Right. So we rise with them mm. and we fall with them. Okay. That is why angel investors are common in most advanced economies. Okay. And that is why many businesses are thriving over there. Mm. Because from the beginning, they don't go to banks to borrow money and seek for debt financing. Right. Because debt financing will not help businesses mm. to grow. If you, if you start your business up with debt in it, these are the challenges. Mm. You, you will lack the freedom mm. to be able to, 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 to take some risk, right. to be able to explore, to be able to research, to be able to uh, uh, invest in re research mm. and, and development. 
So all your focus will be divided as an entrepreneur to meeting this your repayment. Right. And that in itself would, would in the long in the business. short term will cripple their yeah. business. Okay. Yeah. So angel investors, you do not worry at all about any, any of these things. The angels bear all that worry. They for bear you. all that worry <laughs> for, for you. Okay. And they are going Very to make sure that they do everything possible within their to means make sure to make sure you survive, you succeed, right. and your business thrive. And well, I like the passion business. with which Richard speaks, and I'm sure that's why many people should be there. But yes. finally, to you, Sedem, tell us where it's taking place, when, and how we can access it. Well, it's happening in Kumasi. Mm -hmm. And it's happening at the car park of the Kumasi Mall. Incidentally, okay. that is where we have uh, our radio station also at Kuma mm -hmm. FM. It's just adjacent. So okay. you don't want to miss out on this one. It's happening from the Friday, the 17th of May okay. to Sunday, 19th May. And it's coming to Kumasi. It's coming to Kumasi for two reasons. One, because there's popular demand. Okay. Many of the exhibitors we had last mm -hmm. year and the patrons asked that we bring it to Kumasi. Right. Kumasi is an important business mm -hmm. hub. It's like the second largest, uh, mm -hmm. most buoyant okay. business right. hub that we have uh, in Ghana. Mm -hmm. So we are coming to Kumasi. We have a long-standing relationship also with Kumasi and the Ashanti region, mm -hmm. uh, one that stretches back to our very inception. Mm -hmm. Most importantly also, as I mentioned earlier, we have a media footprint there. Okay. Um, TV3 is the most preferred mm -hmm. uh, television choice in the whole of Ashanti region. Okay. Uh, and then also 3FM, uh, sorry, um, Akuma. Akuma FM uh, is doing great works. Mm. It's going to be close to where we are having a fair. It's okay. happening again at the car park of uh, mall. the Kumasi Mall. You don't want to miss out on this one, especially also not just for the businesses who are there to exhibit, mm. but those with money mm. looking for an opportunity to invest for the long term. Uh, it isn't all of us who have the grit to be able to start a business of our mm -hmm. own. So here you have an opportunity to see those who are going to own the future. Right. Here's the opportunity to invest in them. So what registration processes should take place before the day? If I want to exhibit my product or come there, what do I do? How do I go about it? Oh, it's really easy. Uh, we've, we've published the numbers and the mm -hmm. platforms, the emails that you can reach us on. Currently, we have close to 60 companies, uh, startups and SMEs who have registered to partake in this program. Uh, I believe that the commercial will be playing and we're giving you all the other details that you need, the WhatsApp mm. numbers you can reach us on, uh, the email addresses that you can reach us on, mm. etc. It's all available. for Because we're hard-pressed for time. I'm yes, just certainly. I know we are hard in a very short <laughs> All this is happening, but we'll certainly talk about it again before the day, which is yes. Friday. And so make sure you're tuned into New Day because we'll bring you all of it. And all our other platforms will be talking about the Startup Fair and Summit that will be taking place in Kumasi from Friday to Sunday this week. And make sure you're there. What better opportunity when you've got Veronica and Richard here to tell you what Quick Angels has for you. And many other companies like theirs will be there. I have been speaking to Sedem Ofori. He is Head of Corporate Affairs here at Media General. Veronica Ofosuhima, also and Sub Brands and Communications Manager for Quick Angels Limited and also Richard Ni Amakwe, CEO of Quick Angels Limited. On